Um, and yeah, so to, just to give people a feel for what we're going to go over here at Fortinet today, I'm going to give a quick review, kind of talking about Fortinet's vision, especially for the land edge, uh, so that we can kind of catch everybody up, because I know while you should be aware of Fortinet, I know not everybody necessarily is. And then again, thanks to the virtual nature of this particular event, I have a full team of people that I brought in actually from across the globe. You'll be able to spot that as they begin speaking uh, to cover off on a number of things, including some new security features coming to our U series of access points. And then we're gonna really shift gears a bit and we're gonna focus in on management quite a bit. And really our vision of how to take management forward to a better place and how we can really start to thinking about what it means to have a good network and what it means if the network is really working. So I don't want to steal too much thunder from our from our later speakers, so I'm going to leave it at that. And what it really means is I'll kick off with my bit of the presentation. So my name is Chris Ince. I'm a director of product and solutions here at Fortinet. And I want to cover a little bit about security driven networking, a view of how Fortinet looks at things because not everybody is a Fortinet expert. So let's talk a little bit about Fortinet's vision of networking in general. If you look at what our mission is, kind of what our goal for how we see everything, it's to secure people, devices, data, everything. We're not interested in just being one piece of the security puzzle. We want to be the entire security answer in whatever way we possibly can. And that leads into something that those of you who have some familiarity with Fortinet have likely heard, and that is the Fortinet security fabric. The idea is that it is broad, integrated, and automated. Broad because we recognize that we need visibility and protection across the entire digital tax surface. That also means we need more products. We need a broader suite of what we can offer to cover everything. Otherwise, we're only a Band-Aid on a gaping wound, and that is not what we would intend to be. We're fully integrated. That's the idea of being a fabric. We have a solution that comes together and hinges on, as you can see in the middle of the diagram, FortiOS, the operating system that runs on our FortiGate next generation firewall appliances. That allows us to have a unified solution where everything is sharing information. And once again, you want better security, make sure all the pieces can communicate with each other. And lastly, it's automated. Now, I'm not gonna to go too much into automated right now, mainly because again, I don't wanna steal thunder from some of the other folks you're going to hear about in today's mobility field day. But we've taken a lot of steps to make sure that throughout the security fabric, there's automation in place to ensure that the network is as functional as possible and as secure as possible at all times. Now for today, and what we're talking about for something like Mobility Field Day, we're gonna drive in on one of these three pillars that you see. We sort of divide our products into zero trust access, adaptive cloud security, and security driven networking. And that's the idea of putting security at the heart of every aspect of your network. That means whether it's LTE, OT, anything along the internet, or for us, the Wi-Fi and switch edge, we wanna make sure all of that comes back to security, to deliver enterprise protection, as well as unparalleled user experience. Now we tend to talk about the LAN Edge a lot. And for us, the LAN Edge is really made up of a core group of products. The FortiGate, access points, of course, which is gonna be our focus today, and switches. Now, a lot of times I get asked whenever I put this slide up why I have a firewall in with LAN Edge, because it feels like, well, so wouldn't that be more on the security side? And yes, of course, it is a next generation firewall, but it is also our controller. So this is our on-site controller that can be managing your access points and switches. It has all that built in. You'll hear me use the phrase a lot about your investment in a FortiGate. We really believe in adding value when you purchase from Fortinet. So when you have that FortiGate appliance, you now have a LAN controller built in. And that's really what drives one of our key differences. You have all the requirements that we believe a LAN needs, a firewall, wireless, switching, as well as basic NAC features, all converging in on that operating system. So everything is offered within a single place, meaning now I've converged to one console 
to manage all this. I have one config file that contains everything I need for all these aspects of my LAN. And the nice aspect of that is that means I have fewer licenses to deal with and which grammatically can simplify my operations. It's a lot less hassle for anybody putting in this core set of product. Now, before I go too much farther, there's one last thing I wanted to talk about, and it's really a follow on and an update for all of those who followed along in Mobility Field Day last year. We talked a little bit about Mac features, and we talked about how we were looking to bring more and more for onboarding of devices directly into our 40 OS operating system. And that we wanted to be able to extend NAC directly to our LAN edge without having to bring in a bunch more product. And that is what we are now calling FortiLink NAC. Now we hinted at this a bit last year, I believe it was in Ben's presentation. And we talked about how we were envisioning that this would continue to grow. And what I wanted to give is the update that it has continued to grow. We now have full support across both switch ports as well as SSIDs on your access points. I can do this again with no additional license required. I told you you're gonna hear this at least a couple of times from me. It's part of that investment in the FortiGate. The fact that you invested in FortiGate and bought a FortiGate means you have these capabilities right out of the box. Defaults are set up, ready to go. I can now onboard devices with little to no pain. We can also do additional uh, integration with EMS tagging for some of our things like, like our client side uh, software. Uh, I know people are going to have to just have to get used to it. Everything is a 40 something here. So our for to client uh, solutions for, for laptops can now interact with this, allowing a very easy way, way easy way, there we go, a very easy way for everybody to get things up and running, have their network secure, and get that consolidation that people are looking for to get better security. Because when all said and done, coming back to this and thinking about it, the best security happens when everybody is on the same page, when I don't have to try and marry up a bunch of different solutions from a bunch of different vendors. And with that in mind, that really takes me to the end of my time today of what I wanted to go over and level set with everybody about Fortinet. So before I turn over to Sumanth to go over some of those cool security features that we are bringing to the 40, uh, 40 APS line of access points, I want to check to make sure none of the delegates have any questions about the Fortinet vision. Um, actually, Chris, I do have a question regarding yeah. the Fortinet vision. I noticed that we talk a lot about the LAN side of the equation, but I know that Fortinet also has a very big uh, SD-WAN type of deployment that is gaining acceptance in the market, especially as we kind of live in this whole pandemic driven work from home, work from anywhere type of situation. Are there, um, are there considerations for how to condense all of your wireless technology into that SD-WAN appliance to basically create a unified edge for all um, situations? That's a great question. And we do definitely consider the WAN edge as part of our security driven networking solution. Because as you pointed out, SD-WAN is also boiled into the FortiGate appliance. And we do even have models of FortiGates that have Wi-Fi radios built into them. So if you needed a single box to be Wi-Fi as well as you know, your switch ports, because obviously it's a firewall, it's, it's got ports on the front. If you wanted kind of an all-in-one box and that was what was right for you, you've got it. We really want to make sure that we have the right collection of equipment to max, mix and match and give somebody what they need. This is one of the reasons that, that when we kind of look at this portfolio, a lot of times what I'm talking to folks, one of the things I stress is we can scale to an amazing degree with this selection. Because if I'm really small, to, to your point, Tom, I could focus on one of the more all-in-one FortiGates. That may be all I need you know, if I'm particularly small. As I grow, maybe I need some extra APs. Maybe I eventually need some more switches. Maybe eventually I need to actually bring my FortiGate up to a higher end appliance because I've got so much traffic. But I can really scale through my product line very easily without having to you know, say completely junk equipment and move to another solution or without having to overly burden my management plane because everything I learned 
even on that simple all the one Florida gate took me across. Same thing that we were talking about here, that idea that everything comes together in that operating system that you may have learned once upon a time with a small gate, like you were talking about the fact that you've used FortiGates for a long time. By learning that, you're now ready to go even to if you then moved on, you know, as any IT guy out there, if you've moved on now to a new job and you're now dealing with a much bigger network, you can still bring the stuff in. Everything you learned on say like a little FortiGate uh, 40F is just as applicable to a larger 100F platform. So that all carries across and it's very valuable for our folks as they grow in their careers to be able to just bring that knowledge with them and continue to build out the fabric and leverage it. So it's a great question. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Chris. I have one for you, Chris, before we advance. So uh, obviously, you know, this is Fortinet's time to show off everything they, they have and all of that. And it's always a good presentation and the solution is certainly end-to-end um, -end well thought out, you know, having seen different versions of it through the years. But now let me take it in a different direction. You know, I'm, I've got a legacy wireless system from another vendor. I've got a big old LAN underpinning. I've already got firewalls. The only thing I want to replace is my wireless. I don't want to get rid of anything else. Is Fortinet still a contender in that scenario? I don't want to go full stack forward in that, but I'm still interested in, you know, perhaps your wireless solution on my incumbent LAN and such. Yeah, you know, that, that that's a great question. So I'll, I'll answer a little bit of it, and I'm going to leave a little bit to actually come from Sumanth, because that's going to tie really nicely into some of the things that Sumanth is going to talk about. But we definitely have the ability to install our access points, and then if you for whatever reason, like you said, maybe you're not budgeted right now or you're, you're happy with your current firewall, this budget cycle, that firewall, you just bought it maybe last year before you really became familiar with Fortinet. So you can't be swapping that out for several more years. You can manage those APs via our cloud interface. So we have something, we've now consolidated it by the way. So now switching and wireless can be managed in the same cloud interface. This is without FortiGates. Might not surprise you, it's called Fortilan Cloud. Um, so I could manage that day one. In fact, Lee, we've actually we've had people, and I could think of one fairly large customer who went through a cycle where they were not replacing firewalls at this time. They weren't budgeted for it. They were willing to entertain Fortinet later, but they saw that as being at least a year, year and a half out. They bought all the APs because they liked the idea and they did have a long-term plan to try to move to this. And they said, you know what? I'm going to buy all your APs and I'm going to manage them via your cloud interface for now. And a year, year and a half from now, when the time comes, I'll evaluate your, your firewalls. I like what I heard from you. So we'll, you know, we're probably going to go that way. But they didn't have to go all in in one shot. They were budgeted for WLAN. That's what they put in. And they happily managed that. I think it ended up being almost a year and three quarters on, on, our, on our web interface before they did eventually decide to move to FortiGates when they replaced their aging firewalls. And then they shifted over. And another interesting aspect that I wasn't delving too much in, but since you brought it up, I'm happy to talk about it. All of our equipment works with any of those management choices. So when I decide to move from the cloud and eventually maybe I decide to put in FortiGates and now I just want to manage it via the FortiGate like I've been talking about, that's not a new AP. That's the exact same AP I'm already using. So I don't have to junk it. There's no more rip and replace. There's no complex licensing scheme of how do I move this to there? Nope, I'm good to go. I just point those APs over at, at my FortiGate now while I'm, I'm good to go. So are you saying there, sorry, that there's no difference in licensing between an on-prem solution and using your cloud solution? Our on-prem solution, everything through the FortiGate, there are no licenses necessary on the FortiGate. You buy a FortiGate, you open that, take it out of the box, it's ready to go and manage APs. The, the max number of APs a FortiGate can do is actually tied just to the hardware model. So what you might kind of imagine, a 40F down towards the lower end of our portfolio can manage less APs than 100F. And that's really the only limitation you have. That max number is already enabled on the day you bought it. 
You didn't have to buy any extra SKU. There was no licensing associated with that. So to your question, if I'm on the cloud and I'm utilizing the cloud, when I'm ready to move over, I don't have to buy a whole bunch of new licenses. I already bought my FortiGate. So by doing that, I'm good to go. Uh, 